Hey, Mom and Dad, Miss Kim here. We want to thank you for letting us come into your living room today to provide the children and you with a little bit of a parent talk session. We know that parenting right now through these uncertain times is really difficult. Parenting any day is challenging, but when the children are home and you're dealing with isolation or quarantine, when their daily routines like playgroup and preschool and big school isn't happening, it can make things even more difficult. The GMFRC team would like you to know that we're here to supply you with any type of support, information, or resources that we can during these times. You can contact us through our Facebook Messenger, or you can email us through our Outlook account. That information is all located on our Facebook page. Hello, my friends. It's Miss Kim and Miss Kalita here from the GMFRC. Um, we noticed that you guys are here today. We know why you can't come today, and we're happy that you're staying home and you're staying healthy and you're being well, and you're washing your hand lots and lots. But we still miss you. And Minnie Mac and all of your friends still miss you. So, we were thinking since you couldn't come here to us, we're gonna come to you. We're gonna do some stories, we're gonna do some songs, you're gonna sing along at home, and Miss Kalita has got some crafts ready for us. So we're gonna do some crafts together. Every time you do a craft with us on Parent & Talk, we want you to take a picture of that with your mom or dad, and we want you to post that on our Facebook. Mom and dad know how to do that stuff. We just want you to have fun and sing along with us. So I was thinking, hmm, what songs could we sing today? I want stories. So I went to our story box, and I found one of our favorite, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. So how many people know that story? I'm pretty sure Casey knows this story, and I know that you, Tobias, you definitely know this story. Here we go. If you give a mouse a cookie, there's the mouse. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. He's definitely finished that glass of milk. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Do you get a milk mustache? I know I get a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep it up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Oh no, this can't be good. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, oh, he'll probably want to take a nap. It's a pretty tired looking mouse. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. Get it all cozy. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him one of your favorite books. And he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Isn't that green crayon? There's a brown one, and a yellow one, and a blue one. Hmm, I wonder what his favorite is. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. <gasps> then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator which means he'll need mm -hmm, scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him mm, that he's thirsty. So, what do you think is gonna happen? Let's see. He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, what do you think he's gonna want? Yep, he's gonna want a cookie to go with it. There he is with his buddy having a cookie and some milk. That's the end of our story. You guys want to do a song? Okay. Now, we don't have any instruments at your house, I'm sure. And so Kalina and I have all of our instruments washed and put away. But we are going to grab a pot, and we're going to grab a spoon, and we're going to make our own noise. Hey, guys, so I've got my pot, which is now my drum. And Miss Kalina, what do you have over there? So, even if you don't have fancy instruments at your house, I know you have a pot, and I know you have a spoon, and you've got some wooden spoons. So, get ready. The first song we're going to sing, we're going to use our instruments, and we're going to do that simple ABC song, because that's a simple one for everybody. Are you ready? One, 
two, three. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, or Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, bump to sing with me. Big noise. Big noise. Good job, guys. So now you're all warmed up because I know it's been a while since you've been here singing. Let's do, let's see, one of your favorite songs. How about Wheels on the Bus? Kalita, do you know Wheels on the Bus? A little okay. bit? <laughs> let's teach Miss Kalita and Minnie Mac, because I know Minnie Mac knows Wheels on the Bus and all his friends. We're going to do Wheels on the Bus. So let's get our hands ready. Here we go. Our singing voices are ready. One, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Come on, Miss Kalita. Round and round, round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Don't forget to do your actions. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus, they go swish, 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 all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The door on the bus goes open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus, they go open and shut, all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back. Move on back. The driver on the bus, he says, move on back. All through the town. The people on the bus, they go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. The people on the bus, they go up and down. All through the town. The seats on the bus go squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, 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 the seats on the bus, they go squish, 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 all through the town. The babies on the bus say, where, 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 where. The babies on the bus, they say, where, 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 all through the town. The parents on the bus say, shh. On the bus, say shh, 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 all through the town. Good job! I'm pretty sure I heard someone singing, and it wasn't Miss Kalita, and it wasn't me. I bet you, I think I heard you. So if you were singing, really good job. Let's see, let's do one more song before we do a craft. How about, hmm, I think I heard something. Oh, Minnie Mac wants to do Slippery Fish. Would you guys like to sing Slippery Fish? Okay, we're going to do Slippery Fish. Here we go. Get your slippy fish hands ready, Miss Kalita. Goes like this. One, two, three. Slippery fish, slippery fish, sliding through the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Oh no, he's been eaten by a octopus, an octopus. Wiggling through the water, an octopus, an octopus. <laughs> oh no, he's been eaten by a great white shark, a great white shark. Lurking through the water, a great white shark, a great white shark. <laughs> <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by a tuna fish. A tuna fish slapping through the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish. <gasps> oh no, he's been eaten by an humongous whale. Humongous whale spouting through the water. A humongous whale, humongous whale. Hum, hum, hum. Excuse me. Good job. I hope you had fun. You're
know what we're gonna do now? Let's get ready for craft. So I want everybody to go into the bathroom, give your hands a good wash. Now you remember, we're supposed to wash your hands a lot. So when you're washing your hands, sing the ABC song that we just sang and meet us at the table for craft. Let's go. Miss Kalita has been busy working on a really, really simple Easter craft that you can make at home with everything you probably have at home, which is just some paper. And if you don't have any feathers, that's okay. Grab some leaves from the backyard. Anything that you can find at home to make this craft will make it a lot of fun. Minnie Mac is sitting here, and you can see Minnie Mac is kind of not really close to Miss Kalita because it's really, really important, my friends, that we take time to spend a little bit of a distance between us, okay? So if you can throw a ball to your friend and they can catch it, you're probably too close. So we're gonna go back a little bit further, okay? So when we do our craft today, Miss Kalita and Minnie Mac are gonna be sitting at the table and they're gonna show us how they made an Easter chick using your very own hands. So Minnie Mac has this really cute little Easter chick. So all it is is an Easter chick in an egg. And look, it says Happy Easter. How do you think she made that? What did you use to make this? Oh, she used her hand, so can you show us? Oh, look right here. She took a piece of paper, and I think, oh, this looks like it could be a hand. Miss Kalita, is this your hand? So she traced her hand, so get mom or dad, or your big brother or sister to trace your hand. And then with the help of a grown-up, we're going to get you to cut your hand out of the paper. And that's, thank you, that's what you have. Look, kind of starting to look a little bit the same. So Miss Kalita, why don't you make us one of these fancy chicks and tell us how you're going to do that. All right. So with white construction paper or cardstock, you can cut out. What I did is I just folded it in half. And then I cut along the top so that you can make it look like it's an egg. Kind of like a broken cracked egg. Yeah, exactly. To make it look like the chip just hatched out of the egg. So then, you're gonna wanna cut the bottom of it to make it look more like an egg shape. Well, she's cutting off the corners. Oh, it looks a little round now. Then, you can open it up and put your handprint inside. Mm, that still doesn't look like a chick yet. Not yet. <laughs> and so then... What are we missing, girls and boys? What is Miss Kalita missing from her craft? What do you see? What's not there? I see the hand, it's yellow, and I see the eggshell, it's white. I think it needs a face. So how can we make that face, Miss Kalita? We can make it with some googly eyes and a little bit of orange felt or construction paper, whatever you have around the house. And if you don't have any googly eyes and you don't have any construction paper and you don't have any felt, you can use markers or crayons yep. and you can just draw your face on. But Miss Kalita's being a little fancy because she's here at Parrot Tot, so she's going to make it with all the stuff that we have in our cupboard. Where's an orange triangle? Googly eyes over there. Yep, I can get those. How many eyes does the chick have? Does he have eight eyes? Ten eyes? Hmm, let's see. Pretty sure he has how many eyes? Two. He has two eyes. So we'll give Miss Galita two eyes. We'll let Minnie Mac take care of these. So she's putting some glue on the googly eyes because it has to be sticky. There we go. There's one eye. And remember, if you do not have googly eyes, just go use a crayon and a marker. And you can draw your own face on. Super, give them a push. It's kind of starting to look like a chick. <laughs> but there's something missing. Let's see, we've got the hand, we've got the eggs. Miss Kalita has her two eyes on hers and her, her nose, but what's this stuff? What do chickens have? Do they have fins like a fish? Nope. Do they have um, hmm, scales like a dinosaur or a lizard? Nope. They have these things. They have feathers. So Miss Kalita is now going to put her feathers on the back of her egg. So that way the chick looks like he's got his feathers on. 
Let's see how she does it. Oh, she's gonna put it right on the feather. Or you can put it even right on the back of your egg, whatever makes it easier. And remember, if you do not have feathers, that's okay. Go get some grass from the yard or some yarn or just draw your own feathers, whatever you have at home. Look at that. Chick feathers, just like that. How many feathers do you think the chicken has, Miss Kalita? Too many to count. Too many to count. So we'll put just a couple on. And then, let's see, how does she get that chick hand inside? Hmm. A little bit of glue. Remember, just like in our story, if you don't have any glue, you can use scotch tape. And you can put it in with a little bit of tape. Perfect. I think they're starting to look the same. Look at that. What do you think, Minnie Mac? So there, you can just do your very own handprint. And if you want to give this to your mom or your dad, or if you want to write your name inside and say Happy Easter, maybe mom or dad can put it in the mail and you can mail it to your nanny or your favorite friend or your teacher and they can get it for Easter since we can't be with them right now. So that's how you make a simple Easter chick craft using your very own hand. I think it's probably time for us to get ready to go. It's getting kind of late. Let's take a look around. There's still no friends here. Hmm. We've made our craft today. Please post it on our Facebook so that Miss Kim and Miss Kalita and all of our friends at the MFRC can see what wonderful crafts that you created. So for now, let's get out of here. It's time to go home. I'm going to turn off the lights. It's just really quiet without you. So before I go, I want to say a big goodbye to some of my friends that I know are watching at home. I want to say goodbye to Evelyn and to Max. I do see you, Max. And to James and to Logan. I see all of my friends. Bye for now.